Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to this Bible reading time. As we get into the Word one more time, see what he said today, and it's always great to be back to make another tape, another video, and talk about the Lord and Savior a little while and share His Word and His Gospel. Part of His love letter to us that was written a long time ago. And every word is the truth, the only truth we have. And the Lord Jesus Christ is the living word from the beginning to the end. We can't change it because it's settled forever in heaven. But he warned us against changing it and adding to and taking away from it. And I wish people would take heed to what that says. But if it don't, we still leave it in God's hands. He is still control. And He knows everything from beginning to the end. Therefore, we'll let Him be the judge. Now today, we're going to be reading from the book of Ezekiel, 34th chapter of the King James Version. But before we get into the Word to read, we'll go to the Lord just a few minutes in prayer and thank Him for his love and his mercy and for his word our most kind and gracious heavenly father uh, it's again we come to you one more time lord uh, to thank you one more time uh, i for you the opportunity uh, to get in your word just a little while day uh, and i pray oh lord today uh, as you look down this way lord uh, i pray you know in our lips of clay uh, and give us wisdom lord uh, to speak your word with understanding uh, that will help us all along the way uh, and help some one find you the lord and i pray oh lord how uh, you give us wisdom uh, and i pray oh lord i uh, today uh, bless every word uh, i bless every listener to this video today uh, and bless them from, from the top of their head i uh, uh, to their souls or their feet lord uh, and i pray oh lord uh, you fill their heart with your holy spirit lord uh, that they can feel your your spirit i'm uh, uh, running within their bloodstream lord uh, and i pray Pray you bless everyone. I, I be on their dreams or, or their thoughts uh, of my Lord. Uh, and I pray most of all, uh, you draw us all closer to you uh, and give us a greater desire to follow you and obey your words uh, and your commandments, Lord. Uh, and I pray, Lord, uh, you let each word be written on the table uh, of our heart uh, that we may know how not uh, to sin against you uh, because uh, he that sins again you Lord I, I resins against uh, their own soul uh, and I pray oh Lord today uh, that you give us the words we need to say uh, and we give you the praise and glory uh, and I pray oh now Lord uh, you let this word go to those uh, let them hear your word one more time uh, that they can be led to you and be saved uh, before it's too late uh, and Lord help us all be more obedient to you uh, uh, today than we were yesterday uh, and help us walk closer to you uh, and help us to know lord we have more uh, to go to heaven for uh, uh, than we did yesterday uh, these things we ask in the wonderful name uh, of our lord and savior uh, uh, jesus christ uh, amen uh, and thank you father one more time uh, uh, for your love uh, and for your mercy now we're going to get into the word just a few minutes which is found in the 34th chapter of the book, great book of Ezekiel, the King James Version Bible, and verse number 1, and it reads, and this is what many need to listen to today, and it speaks loudly, although it's in the old scripture, it's speaking to us today just as strongly as it was to them on that day. Chapter 34, verse number 1, and it says, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, This is to Ezekiel now, 
son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed the flock? My friend is talking about those that would feed themselves, but they would forget about the flock. Those that want to need to be fed, my friend, by feeding them, that's preaching and teaching them the word of God, as it is written, not their own words, but the words of God, that it's spoken from heaven. Now listen, verse 3, ye eat the fat, and ye, and ye clothe you with wool, ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock, my friend, my friend, you kill those that are fed, and you make them, you take from them, make clothing for your own selves. Now listen to what it said. You, you eat the fat and you clothe you with wool. You kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. My friend, my friend, how many today need to hear and hear this word and let it sink in that are trying to feed the flock every Sunday. My friend, and Wednesday night. My friend, my friend, I thank God that we have a Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, looking over us, my friend, that knows our heart, and knows our thought, and he knows what we're speaking. Therefore, my friend, let's do everything in our in God, as God allows us to do, preach and teach his word, as it is written, I feed them the bread of life, which is your word, Lord, that they may grow thereby. Now listen, uh, the, the, verse 4, uh, the disease have you not strengthened, uh, uh, the words of sick you not help the many, uh, uh, neither have you healed that which was sick, uh, neither have you bound up up that which was broken, uh, uh, neither have you brought uh, again that which was driven away, uh, neither have you sought that which was lost, uh, but with force and with uh, cruelty have you ruled them. Uh, my friend, you didn't try uh, to bring the lost into me uh, that they could be saved, uh, and neither did you feed them the truth uh, of God's word. Uh, my friend, you let them go hungry and let them go liking, uh, and neither did you feed them. I, I, when they were in need I, of daily food, I, but you worried about feeding yourself, I, but you didn't think about feeding them. I, my friend, my friend, I, how can we serve God I, and ignore His Word, I, I, what He told us to do? I, my friend, we cannot do it I, because it's got to be done I, according to God's Word I, and His way. I, or my friend, is not done at all. I, therefore, my friend, listen to God's Word. I, and take it to heart, uh, and let us examine ourselves daily, uh, and see where we stand uh, uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and in His Word. Uh, and I pray if we will follow Him, uh, and obey Him uh, on what He says, uh, then my friend, we be blessed, uh, and we journey through this land, uh, uh, here below, uh, on our way to glory land, uh, towards the end of our journey. Uh, now listen to what it said, uh, verse 5, uh, and they were scattered, uh, because there is no shepherd, uh, and they became meat uh, to all the beasts of the field, uh, when they were scattered, uh, my friend, uh, they're running off the flock, uh, my friend, today, uh, and they're not uh, getting to go uh, uh, where they be, be fed, uh, you didn't feed them when they were with you, uh, and now you scattered them, uh, because you turned them away, uh, you forsook them, and thought about your own selves, uh, and now they're scattered, uh, they going in to land in the country uh, where they won't, where they won't be, can't be fed. Uh, you refuse it uh, and you send them away. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, again we need to examine ourselves. Uh, everyone it says uh, their preacher uh, and their teacher uh, need to examine ourselves by the word uh, of God uh, and see where they stand. Uh, uh, what's more, uh, I'm not saying it to judge anyone, uh, but God knows their heart uh, and he knows we know 
up and need uh, to be a reading, studying his word. Uh, and we need to be seeking to please him uh, and share his gospel uh, uh, to the lost and dying world. Uh, his word and not the other word. Uh, therefore, we defeat them uh, by the word of God. Uh, now listen while he goes on to sheep. Uh, uh, verse 6, uh, my sheep wandered through all the mountains uh, and upon every high hill. Uh, yea, my flock was scattered upon uh, uh, all the face of the earth, uh, and none did search or seek after them. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, uh, what is it saying today? Uh, how many is seeking for that soul today, uh, and not seeking for the money? Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, if only all they're doing uh, is standing and want more money, my friend. Uh, they're not thinking uh, about the children of God. Uh, they're not thinking about those uh, that are hungry, uh, that need to be fed the gospel uh, of God's word, uh, and neither will they feed them uh, uh, when they're hungry in the flesh. Uh, uh, when that one meal might have been uh, all he took uh, to draw them, bring them in, uh, uh, to be saved, uh, and have belief uh, and faith in the Lord uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, but they failed to do that. Uh, there instead, uh, they thought more of themselves, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, they judged and criticized and kicked them down. Uh, I kicked them around, uh, my friend, when somebody uh, in a church gets down and out, uh, no matter what it is, uh, uh, through sickness uh, or through a broken heart, uh, my friend, uh, it's not the church's place to kick them around, uh, uh, kick them down the road, uh, like to kick an empty can, uh, but, the, but the people in the church uh, and the shepherd especially, uh, I need to go to them uh, and reach out to them and see uh, how he can help them uh, but mo and pray with them, uh, but most of all, uh, I lead them back to the Lord Jesus. Uh, it explained to them, uh, although they have troubles in the flesh, uh, that the Lord Jesus will walk by their side uh, and lead us all the way uh, uh, to glory uh, that He still loves them uh, and they can repent uh, and be forgiven. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, therefore they're not a feeding uh, His sheep. Uh, that's why He said, One to them. Uh, now let's go on uh, just a little farther. Uh, Verse 7, Therefore ye shepherds hear the word of the Lord, uh, as I live, saith the Lord God. Uh, surely because my flock became a prey, uh, and my flock became meat uh, to every beast of the field, uh, because there was no shepherd, uh, neither did my shepherds uh, uh, search for my flock, uh, but the shepherds fed themselves, uh, and fed not their, my flock. Uh, my friend, they fed themselves, uh, but not the flock of God. Uh, not God's sheep uh, that was straight on the mountains, uh, that straight away from him, uh, and those that became sick uh, and in need, uh, you didn't seek after them. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, it's the same warning uh, it's to everyone today, uh, that name of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and say they are shepherds, uh, and say they are pastors, uh, and say they are shepherds, uh, and, and, and pastors, uh, and leaders and teachers uh, of God. God's children, uh, off you and I, uh, now listen to what he said. Verse 9, Therefore, O ye shepherds, uh, hear the word of the Lord. Uh, Thus saith the Lord God, uh, Behold, I am against these shepherds, uh, and I will require my flock at their hands, uh, and cause them to cease from feeding uh, uh, the flock. Uh, neither shall the shepherd feed themselves uh, any more, uh, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth, uh, that they may not uh, be meat for them. Uh, my pretty said, uh, he would deliver them, uh, and my friend, a lot of times, uh, and deliver them. Uh, that shepherd will be no more. Uh, my friend, God uh, has got a way of removing uh, that shepherd uh, that refuses to feed uh, his sheep. Uh, and my friend, his lambs uh, that's gone astray, uh, that are in need of the Lord, uh, and need to come back, uh, that may have been hurt uh, and broken and driven away uh, for nobody's fault but the one uh, that had pride and big 
head. They called they wasn't wealthy. They didn't have the money to throw an offering plate as a richer person does. Therefore, they kicked them around. They threw them away. And my friend, when he got sick and out, you didn't even go see about them or check on them. I see them the reason they didn't even go check on them and see if they might need something. My friend, but no, they looked at their own selves. My friend, in their own mansions they live in, sealed sealed houses and tiles on the floor and all fancy things. When the poor my this, I'd be living in a shack beside the road, looking down through the cracks and seeing the ground through the floor. I didn't have no warmth in the winter time. But my friend, God protected them. He saved them to deliver from that. But my friend, those shepherds that forget his sheep, that way will be remembered by God. My friend, and he knows exactly what to do with them. And before he said here, I thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against his shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hands, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. In other words, he'll stop their mouth, uh, and neither uh, uh, shall the shepherds uh, feed themselves anymore. Uh, you want to take, uh, take what they got uh, to feed themselves. Uh, now listen, uh, for I would deliver my flock uh, uh, from their mouth, uh, that they may not be meat. Uh, and to them, for thus saith the Lord God, uh, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep uh, and seek them out, uh, as a shepherd seeketh out his flock uh, in the day that he is he that he is among uh, his sheep that are scattered, uh, so will I seek out my sheep uh, and will deliver them out of uh, all places where they uh, have been scattered uh, in the cloudy and dark day, uh, and I will bring them out uh, from, the pe- from the people. Uh, uh, people and gather them uh, from the countries and will bring them uh, to their own land uh, and feed them upon the mountains uh, of Israel by the rivers uh, and in all the habita- uh, all the habita- ha- inhabited uh, places of the country. Uh, I will feed them with a good pasture uh, and upon the high mountains uh, of Israel uh, shall they fold the, their fold be. Uh, there shall they lie and go, go, go good fold uh, and and in a fat pasture uh, shall they feed upon uh, the mountains of Israel. Uh, I will feed my flock, and I will cause them uh, to lie down, uh, saith the Lord God, uh, my friend, my friend. Uh, uh, the Lord is saying here, uh, I will take care of my people, uh, and I feed them. Uh, uh, you've let them go astray, uh, but I will pull them out of your hands, uh, and I will take care of them, uh, and I will feed them, uh, and they will find safety with me. Uh, that's what the Lord is telling my friend. Uh, he's telling them that today. Uh, then uh, he's telling us today. Uh, he will keep us uh, in his hand uh, and in his arms of love. Uh, and my friend he'll take care of us. Uh, and he will feed us the gospel uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, of his holy word uh, and show the world how much uh, he loves his own uh, loves his sheep. Uh, my friend today. Uh, if you know you've been saved by the glory uh, and grace of God. Uh, I give him praise and honor and glory uh, because when we were saved uh, we became one of his sheep uh, my friend uh, and he said he'd take care of his sheep uh, wherever they go or wherever they wander uh, through their poor my friend. Uh, I praise him and give him glory uh, forevermore uh, because he is worthy uh, of all praise. Uh, it's him that saved us my friend. Uh, we didn't save him. But my friend, not only did he save us, he gave us a promise of eternal home in heaven. I One day with him, when his life down here is over, my friend, my friend, seek him, seek him, and praise him. And those that don't know him, seek him out while he can be found, while his spirit is still drawing. Verse 16, I will seek that which was lost, and bring again that which was driven away, and will bind up that which was broken, and will strengthen that which I was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. As for you, O my flock,
Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I have judged between cattle and cattle, between the rams and the goats. I seemeth it small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures, and to have drunk of the deep waters, but ye must must foul the residue with your feet. And as for my flock, they eat that which ye have trodden with your feet, and they drink that which have fouled with your feet. My friend, again, he reminded them what they had done to his people, to the shepherds that had done to his sheep. My friend, my friend, they're still doing it today. Many are still following their ways and doing that today. My, my friend, like I said, somebody get down and sick in church and they ain't able to go for their soul. I said, go in and see the battle and they'll kick them down down the road, I then do then, I when they do go back, I, my friend is able to go back, I said, I think, well, welcome them back, my friend, I, they'll kick them on down the road, I, a little farther, I, by giving them a cold shoulder, I, and if they don't mean nothing, I, all they want is a number, I, and my friend, if you don't put I, I big money in Auburn, Plate, you are not thought of, my friend. You just looked over, my friend. And when we go out the door, away from their side, then we are forgotten by them. But my friend, let's also remember that Lord sees all things, and if we are in Him, He is gonna take care of His sheep, and He will feed us and lead us along. And as for my flock, they eat that which ye have trodden uh, with your feet, uh, and they drink that which ye have uh, uh, found with your feet. Uh, therefore thus saith the Lord uh, God unto them, uh, Behold, I uh, even I will judge uh, between the fat cattle uh, and between the lean cattle, uh, because ye have thrust uh, to the side uh, and with the shoulder uh, and pushed all the deceit. Uh, with your horns uh, till you have scattered them abroad. Uh, other words, you run them away. Uh, and my front friend, uh, from my house, uh, uh, from the flock, uh, uh, from the fold, uh, where I could take care of them, uh, and you refuse to feed them uh, yourself. Uh, and therefore, you drove them, drove them away uh, because you didn't get your gain. Uh, you didn't get the riches that you thought they should. Uh, I give you, uh, my friend, that's why he speaks so much uh, about the pastors and my friends and shepherds uh, that they would do care uh, they will care uh, what they do uh, and how they treat his sheep uh, my friend those sheep uh, that he died for uh, on the old rugged cross uh, and give his all for uh, that they could live on and on uh, forevermore uh, after this life is over uh, and my friend those uh, uh, pastors and uh, those pastors uh, and shepherds uh, that mistreat his people uh, my friend the sheep uh, they're going to pay for it uh, in God's due time. Uh, I do not have to pay judgment on them because we know uh, what God said uh, and when they're judged with God's word uh, they're already judged uh, and my friend he already knows uh, and we don't have to. Uh, now let's go on. Uh, Verse 22, Therefore will I save my flock, and they shall be, shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle, and I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall be them, even as my servant David, he shall feed them, and he shall, and he shall be their shepherd, uh, talking about the coming uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, and how he was going to be our, uh, our shepherd uh, they would take care of his sheep uh, wherever they were, uh, now listen and I the Lord will be their God uh, and my servant David, uh, a prince among them, uh, I the Lord have spoken it uh, and I will make with them uh, a covenant of peace uh, and will 
call the evil beast uh, uh, to see thou of their land, uh, and they shall dwell safely uh, in the wilderness and sleep uh, in the woods, uh, and I will make them uh, and the place round about it my hill uh, a blessing I will call uh, the shower to come down uh, in his season. Uh, there shall be showers of blessings, uh, and, and the tree of the field uh, shall yield her fruit, uh, and the earth shall yield her increase, uh, and they shall be uh, uh, safe uh, in their land, uh, and shall know uh, that I am the Lord, uh, when I have spoken the b band, broken the bands uh, of their yoke, uh, and delivered them out of the hand uh, of those that serve themselves uh, of them, uh, and they shall no more uh, be a prey to the heathen, uh, neither shall the beast uh, of the land devour them, uh, but they shall dwell safely, uh, and none shall make them afraid, uh, and I will raise up uh, for them a plant of uh, plant of renown, uh, and they shall be no more uh, consumed with hunger uh, in the land, neither hear uh, the shame of the heathen uh, any more. Uh, thus shall they know that uh, I, the Lord their God, uh, I am with, am with God, and Thus shall they know that uh, I, the Lord their God, am with them, uh, and that they, even the house of Israel uh, are my people, saith the Lord God, uh, and my flock, it, my flock uh, the flock of my pasture, uh, are men, and I am your God, uh, uh, saith the Lord God, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, uh, what a promise he's made uh, uh, to you and I, uh, that have been saved and ready to go uh, in the morning, uh, and that we're one of his sheep, uh, and he takes care uh, of his sheep, uh, and his flocks, uh, because great promises are promised uh, unto us, uh, and to those that are redeemed and saved, uh, and ready to go home in the morning, uh, that try to obey him the best of uh, uh, their knowledge uh, that they can, uh, uh, to be preaching this gospel uh, uh, to the lost and dying world, uh, the message of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and Father, uh, my praying whereby they can be saved, if they'll come to him uh, when he's drawing them, uh, there's no end, my friend, uh, to how much uh, uh, we have been blessed in this life. Uh, uh, my friend, it ain't one of us uh, down here got enough intelligence uh, to count all of our blessings uh, that we have received uh, uh, since we've been born. Uh, my friend, we can't even count all of our blessings uh, from day to day, uh, let alone since uh, uh, when we were born. Uh, but thank God we are in the hands uh, of a true and just to live in God, uh, and one day after a while, uh, uh, when he gets through with us down here, uh, he'll take us home to glory, uh, to live for him uh, uh, forevermore, uh, and my friend, if you know you are uh, uh, saved and ready to go, uh, then be sure in this gospel uh, to the lost and dying world, uh, and give them some more hope uh, than they had yesterday, uh, that they too can have uh, eternal life, uh, and I promise that heavenly home, uh, and those great rewards that Jesus got awaiting, uh, on those that love him uh, and those that made things right uh, with him before they left this world uh, our most kind and gracious heavenly father uh, it's again we come to you dear lord uh, to thank you one more time for your love and your mercy uh, and thank you again lord uh, for your word today uh, and i pray we will not return to you void uh, that you bless where it's, you sent it today uh, and lord i pray uh, again you bless everyone uh, that listens to this video uh, from the top of their head to the sole of their feet and I pray, O oh Lord, uh, the day you send your drawing spirit out uh, to those who lost one more time, uh, and give them another opportunity, Lord, uh, to be saved before it's too late, uh, because we know however we leave this world uh, is the way we stand before you uh, one day after a while, uh, and that's the way we'll be judged uh, on that great day, uh, and it's will on its way, Lord, uh, and Lord, we pray for those sick and afflicted in body uh, uh, down here, Lord, uh, and in pain, uh, I pray you heal, deliver, and touch, uh, and set free, uh, if it be your will, Lord. Uh, but, Lord, if it's not your will, then be healed down here. Uh, I pray, Lord, you make their pain uh, and suffering easier to endure uh, and even to bear. Uh, but let them be a witness to those around them uh, that know them every day, uh, that they can be a witness to them uh, by remaining faithful to you, uh, although they suffer, uh, and lift up your name, uh, that they can lead someone to you and be saved. Uh, 
need uh, that they can find the truth uh, in you, uh, uh, Lord, through their obedience to you. Uh, although they suffer, uh, and I pray, oh Lord, you keep us walking uh, on the road is good uh, and right. Uh, I try to win lost so to you. Uh, I be for it too late uh, and pluck them out of the devil's hands. Uh, and Lord, I pray today uh, that you say someone today uh, or tonight before they sleep, uh, because tomorrow's not promised, Lord, uh, but eternity is. Uh, and Lord, uh, I when you get ready uh, to call us uh, away, we can hear you say, well done. Uh, and then, Lord, uh, I when uh, will you call us away, uh, we can praise you forevermore. Uh, uh, we can join uh, that great band of angels uh, at the singing of glory, hallelujah, uh, around your throne. Uh, and we can join the loved ones uh, that's gone on before us uh, that have made it home uh, uh, to that good land. Uh, but uh, I pray, Lord, unto that day uh, you keep leading and guiding us uh, and giving us what we need to say uh, and that we may win uh, uh, someone to you uh, and be saved uh, uh, before it's too late. Uh, and Lord, uh, if we can win one soul to you, uh, it will be worth it all uh, and be one more soul the devil uh, uh, cannot get and take down uh, uh, with him. Uh, and then, Lord, uh, uh, when it's over and done uh, and you take us home, uh, we can glorify you and praise you uh, forevermore uh, uh, while the ages roll on. Uh, and when we've been there uh, uh, ten thousand years, Lord, uh, we'll have no less days uh, to praise you uh, than when we pray begun, uh, but Lord, uh, but on and on, uh, as long as eternity rose, uh, and it's no end to eternity, uh, these things we ask, uh, in a wonderful name, uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, and amen, uh, and thank you, Father, one more time, uh, for your love, uh, and for your mercy.